It is now time for economics. So, economics, we're going to start with 2.3, which is theory of the firm. Now, in this brief video, we're going to be talking about, first of all, costs, different kinds of costs, which are fixed, variable, and marginal. To be honest, we're going to be talking about fixed and variable for now. I'll save marginal for the next video because it's going to take a bit of explaining to do. Uh, after that, we're going to be talking about the short and the long run. Uh, these are periods of time, and, and we'll explain those in just a second. So, getting back here, costs. Our first type of cost, our first cost is a fixed cost. Fixed cost. Now, uh, let's begin with the definition of a fixed cost. These are costs that are, so fixed costs are costs that are not, it's important to remember, not linked to the quantity, quantity of uh, of output, right? So of output produced. Fixed costs are costs that are not linked to the quantity of output produced. First, uh, you know, there's two things we have to look at here. Quantity. Now, what quantity is? This is the number or the amount of things you're producing. Uh, let's say, you know, if you're making ten, you know, books. Your quantity of books is 10. And there's also the quality, but we're not talking about the quality of things we're producing here because we're, you know, we're just focusing on things that we're able, you know, willing and able to produce and later sell. And then of output produced, well, output is going to be your total, uh, you know, your total sum of goods and services. So what you're looking at here, cost, this is a kind of cost that no matter how much, you know, or rather how many goods and services you're making or producing, the cost is going to stay the same. And a, a good example of this is a building. Right? Let's say you, know, you, you have a building, right? And in this building, it doesn't matter whether or not you're, you know, you're hiring one person or you're hiring 100,000 people. You've got to pay for the lighting, you've got to pay for the plumbing and the air conditioning, and the cleaning and all the things that are associated with running a building and maintaining it it doesn't matter you know whether or not you have one person or a hundred thousand people or any number in between it's going to you know cost the same amount of money now the the other kind of cost a variable cost variable cost this is the kind of cost that it's um these kind this is a cost that is linked to the quantity of output oops output produced because this is linked to the qu uh, quantity of output produced this is also called the uh, operating cost so this is the same as the operating cost. Uh, what that means is, you know, when you have an operation, when you're running a firm, a business, a company, uh, these are the, you know, the costs that are associated with uh, with running, with, with, you know, making more of something. It's, you know, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, so this kind of cost, you know, uh, for example, uh, this will be a, not necessarily a printer, but the printer paper. Right? Let's say you have paper, and you have one piece of paper, but you've got two employees, and you want to give each of these employees you know, the paper. You're una unable to do that. So what you have to do is you have to buy more paper. You know, so you can actually give this paper to this person because you know obviously these guys they're not going to be sharing the paper, especially not if you know one guy he, he works on the tenth floor and the other guy he, he works on I don't know you know in the garage, right? So uh, this additional paper this costs money, and so you're having an additional unit of paper having more paper, 
which counts as operating costs because the more paper you have, the more you have to pay for that paper, right? And you know that ultimately means that you are paying for the quantity of output. Uh, in this case, you know your your output. This paper is going to be helping you uh, with your output, right? Uh, you're going to be able to produce or sell or just make more of something because uh, you've got more resources and these resources that you need more of that are being used up uh, those are your variable costs now we've got a, a very nice sort of formula for, for all of this this is going to be TC equals TFC plus TVC what this is this is the total total cost equals the total fixed cost plus the total variable variable cost. Uh, what this means generally is the amount of money you're spending in your firm or your business, the amount of money you're spending on running everything, this is going to be equal to the amount of money you're spending on things that don't change, for example, buildings, uh, or maybe you know cars if you have uh, you know, vehicles that are from your firm you buy the car once right you're paying for gas and the gas is going to be a variable cost because the more gas you use the more gas you need or maybe not necessarily but the more gas you use the less gas you have so if you want to use more gas or more gasoline you're going to, to you're going to have to buy more whereas if you use a car and it doesn't matter whether or not you drive the car once or twice or 50 times it's going to cost the same amount of money obviously you have to go in for repairs but those are small things that are then you know put under the the variable cost not under the fixed cost and we associate you know the sum of of these two as the total cost uh, and then like i said before we've got the marginal marginal cost but i will explain that in a very short further video uh, because this can you know this can take a while it, this usually takes a while for, for someone to understand. So let's move on to the short and the long run. And we're going to begin uh, all right, we're going to begin with the short run. The short run is defined as the or rather a period of time a period of time oops getting a bit ahead of myself a period of time during which one or more or more factors of production um, I know some of you may have forgotten what a factor of production is we have four of them and I'll explain factors of production when I explain marginal uh, and marginal costs so a period of time during which one or more factors of production are fixed. What this means is that in the short run, basically you've got an element of your, your you know your business or your firm where you're not paying more for an increase in production. So you're not paying more for your building, you're not paying more for your cars, you're not paying um, it's very hard to define whether labor, you know, whether people are fixed or or um, or variable uh, I'll try and explain that later because oh, that's just you know a fun topic in itself uh, but the short run this is one this is a period of time during which one or more factors of production are fixed right now the other is the long run so the long run is when all factors of production are variable variable not fixed these are all variable and when we're looking at this this means that the long run this is uh, I guess like a, an amount of time or a time period during which you know this is so much time that nothing you buy or sell or nothing you have uh, is considered to be fixed so you have a building and that building isn't considered to just be a fixed cost because either you have so many employees that you're constantly uh, you know, buying new buildings or just upgrading buildings, you know, maybe moving into a larger building, um, you know, or you're, you're upgrading the building, you're renovating it, things like that, right? 
So this is a, a period of time or a span of time, say 10 years, maybe 20, 30, 50 years, over which all of your factors of production are variable. Now going back to using our nice formula, during the short run, our total cost equals our total fixed cost, and the total fixed cost is going to be which, whichever one of these factors of production are fixed, because we've got one or more. So potentially, one to three, because you know we've got four, and we know here all factors of production are variable, because we've only got four. This means that potentially up to three of our short-run factors of production are fixed. And whichever factor of production is not fixed is going to be our total variable cost. So this stays the same. Whereas, if we look at the long run, all four of the four uh, factors of production are variable. This means that our total cost equals our total variable cost, because in this case, we've only got one kind of cost. Uh, that's it for this video. We spoke about costs, two kinds, and we spoke of the long and the short run.